Here we go. Can we hit double digits? Can we hit double digits? Let's find out. <sighs> what's, your, what's your all time best? I don't know. 9.8. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, baby. Oh, yes. The lactate production is in a good spot, ladies and gents. <laughs> oh, calling all pro triathletes. Blow 14.1. I Here's the, the, the formula here. Oh, that's 
That's good enough for this. Thank you to Element for sponsoring today's video. As you can see on the package, Element is an electrolyte drink mix. Why do you need electrolytes? Mainly sodium. Well, if you're low on sodium, you'll probably cramp, especially at the end of a long endurance event. You'll experience muscular failure or at the very least extreme muscular fatigue. So it is very important to have a plan to replace the sodium that you lose during exercise. Everyone sweats a slightly different amount. I concentrate with about one gram of sodium per liter of water consumed. So that is perfect because Element contains one gram of sodium. So I can mix one of these packets with one liter of water. And that is a ratio that I know works for me in training and racing. Why should you drink Element? Well, Element is just electrolytes and there's no other crap in here. If you shop using my code, drink Element dot com slash Ari Clow, you will get a free sample pack of eight flavors, including my favorite chocolate with any order. Thank you to Element for sponsoring today's video, allowing me to do what I love. Yeah, shout out Element. All right, guys, going to the track. Uh, I am not in athlete mode. I'm in coach mode today. Uh, taking you guys behind the scenes of how I coach my pro athletes today on the docket professional YouTuber, oh, attempting okay. to be professional runner, <laughs> Spencer Brown, AKA the athlete special. Some of you may have seen his YouTube channel. We've been boys for a long time and uh, I've been coaching him for several months. So I'm gonna take you behind the scenes on his workout today, which is threshold with a twist. All right, guys, we're out here at the track. Spence is getting ready to work out. So the session today is six by 1800 meters. Uh, as sets of 100, 200, where the 100 is going to be at mile pace, and the 200 will start at probably 46 to 47 pace, so low six minute mile pace, probably coming through the mile around 5:30 ish. Spencer's LT2 is where? Where do you think it is now? If you did, probably if you just did two Ks, probably around 520 to 525. So the goal here is we're going to try to get in a good bit of mile pace work while keeping the lactate under LT2, around, under three millimole. So we're gonna check the lactate a couple times after these reps and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Guys, check out my, check out my shoes, my red Uggs. Pretty sweet, right? How we doing? Pretty hard? Pretty easy? Pretty hard, honestly. 5.1. Yeah. Right? So, dude, dude then go like, go, no. go, let's go like 50s then. So, 6, 640 pace. What am I doing for recovery on this? Just uh, like a minute, minute and a half. And you can slow down the hundreds to like, just don't focus on time too much. Yeah. The, the, just go mile, mile effort. Just keep your breathing in control. 5.1 millimole after the first one. That is, uh, I mean, Spencer can obviously produce a high amount of lactate, so it's not like crazy faster than threshold, but certainly he is not very good at clearing lactate. Um, very good at producing, not very good at clearing. So that's partially the purpose of this workout is it's like over-unders, generate a bit of lactate, clear it, keep doing it, but we just have to moderate the intensity a little bit better to um so that it's actually a threshold effort because uh, if he keeps that same pace it's going to end up being a really really hard workout by the end i was running faster on the hundreds oh nice you were looking really smooth like you were you were looking like you were running pretty fast and not not straining it still feels harder than like an lt2 workout uh, well, all right we'll see it might be we'll see what it's at it's getting slower <laughs> it's getting <laughs> so going up, 6.6. No, like this is it's getting too hard. a bit too much for today. What do you think about just doing like two more 2Ks, like actually LT2? Yeah, definitely. And then definitely. a couple twos, just yeah, a couple yeah, twos. Yeah. Clearly, this didn't work out the way I had hoped it would. That's what, that's what so. the information's for, though. Should yeah, well, it's like it didn't go up that much. And again, assuming you're like kind of you could get to 20 millimol, like yeah, six is still... Me. It's under control, but it's like, yeah, you don't, it's just more damage than we should be doing today.
What's poppin' guys? Back at the track. I am wearing the exact same outfit, but I promise you it's a different day. It's Friday, not Wednesday anymore, and Allie's working out, my star athlete. I coach Spencer because he's my friend and I think he's gonna succeed, but Allie, she's going right to the top. All right, I'm coaching, coaching on the bike. Allie's over here doing some drills. Allie has five times a mile today at, uh, there's a bunch of different words for it. Critical velocity, intensive threshold, LT2 plus maybe. Uh, but anyway, it is somewhere in the range of what you could sustain for 30 to 50 minutes, but certainly less than an hour over the uh, lactate inflection point. What the f what the f I'm filming right now? How we, how we feeling about this workout, Allie? Yeah, got Myler here to pace, so yeah. Training partner. Circled right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is my job today as coach. Is photography. All right, workout done. Let Allie have a little cut down over the last 600. Mm -hmm. Nothing physiological there, just purely confidence. Except she's not Ari even happy just about to it. Know how fast I could go. Yeah, sometimes as a coach, you get a little bit greedy, maybe. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to see. I wanted her to prove fitness instead of gain fitness. Yeah, I mean, it's good to do because my my confidence is still a little shaken after the last race, so. It's good to like... Yeah, sixth place, an absolute dog f Yeah, that dog was looking too tasty. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get the confidence back after that. But I mean, the real way to get it back is races. So I'm glad I have one in like two weeks. Five kilometers. All right. See you in Oceanside. Sunday morning, 25,000 yards into the week thus far. Hopefully get to, you know, 30, 31K, something like that today. To cap off the week, hard main set, four times five by 100, probably on 140, so a good amount of rest, and the goal is to go pretty fast on these hundreds. Hopefully, 110s, 111s, maybe a few 109s or 108s in there. We will see. 